Hi guys, X here with a video review of Titan's Return Wheelie. Now, um, I love this figure and one of the reasons that I got him is because I wanted to complete my Ultra Magnus team or Team Ultra Magnus and I realized the Studio Series Wheelie just won't make the cut because the Studio Series Wheelie is essentially a non-transforming figure. So, and I am very happy with this figure. It's a Legends class figure and it's fairly easy to play with. It's actually very intuitive. I've already uh, transformed this a couple of times. I wasn't originally intending on making a review but somebody asked for it so here we go. So let's talk about the figure in general. So the figure has uh, a lot of interesting paint applications here. Um, so you've got a darker orange here and, a, and red tail lights. You've got the painted face. There's a Takara version, of course, which is a little more close to the animation model. Uh, this is, I believe, closer to the original toy. And you've got paint detail here as well, on the sides, here as well, on the knees, on the groin, on the feet, and on the side of the legs. Now, there is an Autobot symbol there, very nicely done on his cockpit section, which is the chest piece section at the moment. And yeah, um, not really a lot to say about the paint because it's it's fairly crisp. It's it's really well done as a figure. So um, let's talk about the articulation real quick. So you've got um, a mushroom peg head here, as you can see. He can look up, but not by uh, not in any natural way because it will separate his head. But you can move him 360 degrees at the head if you wanted to. With regard to the arms, they're on ball joints as you can see here. Fairly wide range of movement, same as this side. Okay, and then the the arm bend is on a ball joint as well. This is mostly to facilitate transformation, but it also makes for some interesting poses. So there's that. No wrist articulation because the, the hand is essentially melded onto the arm, which is in turn one solid part. Well, it's, it's, it's screwed on to these arm guards here, which will be forming part of a shell. Now, he also has the waist articulation here, and this is really due to the transformation. Ball jointed hips, as you can see here, and ball jointed knees. Actually, ball joints pretty much everywhere, to be honest. The kneecaps do bend, and this is mostly also due to the transformation. He benefits a lot from joints that are meant for his art, uh, for his transformation, and he does get quite a range of movement just because of that. Now, he does not come with any weapons. I did make a weapon for him, which is a slingshot here. As you can see, this is made from an extra Star Trek phaser and uh, close to five millimeter peg size uh, stick that I made. This is just, you know, just for him to have a slingshot, essentially. But you can give him the Generations wheelie slingshot, which I've seen a lot of people do. Okay, but asking about other five millimeter weapons, we have here Optimus Prime plus gun. And yes, he can hold onto that as well, if that's what you want to do. So pretty much any five millimeter weapon will work with wheelie. And like I said, he has some fairly awesome articulation, mostly benefiting from all of the ball joints. Really, really cool. Okay, so just because I know a lot of you will be wondering, yes, he will work with any Voyager Grimlock. As you can see here, I have my Transformers animated Voyager Grimlock, and this is what I use for my Team Magnus, so to speak. So yes, because of the ball jointed um, joints, well, ball joints that he has, he does work fairly well with your Grimlocks. Now, whether your Grimlocks will stand is an entirely different question, but there you go. Works pretty nicely. Um, could use a bigger Grimlock, and if I'm not mistaken, the Studio Series Grimlock is uh, going to be a leader class, so there's that. So you can position him any which way like that. Now let's compare 
wheelie to the you know the core of this entire group in the first place which is ultra magnus so let me bring him in now so that's ultra magnus right there and as you can see wheelie is tiny a very tiny figure which i love it works perfectly so now let's get go ahead and transform him so first thing you'll want to do is to twist these arm bits so that each side will form one whole piece there you go and then you're gonna want to twist this whole waist section once you've done that you can go ahead and you can either push this in or that's gonna be a little harder so you can just swivel it out and then push it back in from the back and then you can either keep it hidden or what most folks would like to do is to actually bring the head out a bit so you have a little bit of a thruster there, which you'll see the purpose of later. Now, with regard to the legs, you're going to want to flip out these wheel sections from the feet. Go ahead and do that and then just bring them fully onto the other sides. And then twist these around. and then bring them over here there you go and then close what used to be the knee sections close and meet them together here now the only real annoying thing about this transformation is the fact that everything is on tabs you're gonna want to pull this out now pull this out there's a whole accordion piece here see there you go so you just again let me do that again pull this out just like that so it just accordioned out after which just kind of you can have this piece hold it there just so you can kind of grasp the two sides here and tab them into place and it, like I said it's kind of annoying because just really it's really just held together by a lot of tabs it's not super stable but once you've got it you're pretty much good so there you go there's wheelie in full car mode take a look at the underside not much of a visible um, robot under there which is great and as you can see you have a little bit of a thruster and it looks like a functioning car because yes it is a functioning car if I flip out the cockpit and I can also do it on this side let me just lay that off to the side there and I bring in a Titan Master now this is Jinrai have him sit down there's a little notch there inside as you can see see that you go you will peg this back section like most Titan Masters do and just have him sit and there you go you have a little driver titan master driver his head does sit literally where the roof is but that's fine okay so just close it and there you go okay just bring those together and there you go so you have a wheelie in car mode with a driver inside but of course the big question now is will he work with ultra magnus and the answer yes he will he's actually perfect for ultra magnus um this ultra magnus can fit some deluxe cars and since uh, wheelie is a legends class figure he's smaller than deluxe cars which means you can put him in the back section you can put them in the front section on top and you can put him inside with no problem he works great with ultra magnus perfectly so yeah um will i recommend this figure to anyone who wants a wheelie for their team ultra magnus honestly yes i would um if you prefer the animation colors go for the takara version but this is this is a really 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 nice figure and very very intuitive to transform which is you know one of if you if you watch my videos it's one of my biggest things. 
um, that a toy would be intuitive to transform because it makes it a lot more fun for me if I uh, if I can figure out how to transform it without having to look at the instructions if the, you know if the transformation isn't too obnoxious then it's a win for me then yes wheelie is a great figure i love it i love it so much there he is with ultra magnus in vehicle mode very tiny figure and very very entertaining to have uh, wheelie should still be available in most stores that carry transformer stuff that aren't current retail Big Bad Toy Store might probably still have this and I was able to get it from a third party reseller and it was gracious enough to I was almost gonna get the Takara version to be honest but ended up just getting this one which is fine I, I'm, I'm very okay with what I got um, and yeah at least this completes my Team Ultra Magnus anyway thank you for joining me in this review this has been X Paco and this is X's Toy Universe